old farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful wet morning here on the farm. We got about a half inch of rain last night. We really needed it, but today we are planting Chandlers. They came in yesterday afternoon. So yesterday we got a day from planting the plants right here. So uh, yeah, we got the Chandlers here today. We got 25,000 Chandlers. So let's go ahead and jump in the field and start day four of planting strawberries. We got the transplanter ready to go. We gotta change the seat here. So this is one of the first, I believe, one of the first Rainflow transplanters they have. It's so old, it has no logos or anything, but these seats are usually cushioned, nice and comfortable, but whenever we got done planting, we broke the other one, so we just had to replace that chair real quick. And uh, yeah, we are uh, ready to go. Time to go fill it up. Got the plants on the wagon. It's go time. So these are the Chandlers here. Chandlers have a generally they have a lighter lighter uh, plant. They're, I mean the color of the the leaves are lighter. Look at that beautiful 50 cell count trays. Go ham down with these guys. Perfect, easy planting right here. Alrighty, so we started planting. We got a few thousand in the ground. Oh, well, this pallet's more than halfway done here. So, so one of these pallets. There's four pallets for 25,000 plants. So they hold about 6,000 some plants in this we're almost halfway done with this yeah but these plugs these are the chandlers here they're a much smaller plug but my goodness they're easy to plant they're so easy to grab out of the cells here and uh there's not many missing there's a lot of trays that have none missing so that's good uh they get they go pretty quick we're actually the tractors stopping very little so i mean we're planting we're planting thousand plants about 30 minutes or so so it's going pretty quick so that's good so yeah these trays are different compared to the other one so those are 50 cell count uh they're all 50 cell count but these are uh the, the they're they're coned i guess whatever you want to call them but they're much easier to, uh, to pull out of the thing there so yeah let's get to playing
Alrighty, so it's getting dark enough. I'm not even sure you can see much here, but we uh, got a few more rows there, about 10 rows, another 5,000 plants to go there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start planting here. Hopefully tomorrow we'll start planting here. But we haven't got the irrigation set here yet. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm out here with Isaac. We could have planted a few more thousand tonight, but we gotta get this irrigation set up. We got everything else set up before the plants got here, but this uh, kind of, we kind of got carried away and prepping for these strawberries. We never got this done. So that's what we're doing, putting in the connectors, kind of the drip to irrigation system. Isaac is punching the holes in the lay flat with that little non-germinating uh, connector. If you guys haven't seen my irrigation video, you guys should go back and see that. But yeah, that's what we're doing here. Uh, punching every single hole, cutting them, making sure everything's good to go. And then I'm gonna let this irrigate all night long, make sure it gets nice and watered and wet so that tomorrow we could start planting here. So with different soil types, I mean, I could make a whole video on this, but we farm a lot of heavy clay soil. So whenever the water droplet drips out of the emitter, it's going to move more laterally than it is down. So that's where we're able to irrigate for long periods of time. If you are farming on sandy soil, you got to irrigate, stop, wait until that soil, that water, you know, the capillary action moves and then keep doing that for a few days. But with, with, the, well, but with clay, we don't have to worry about that too much. Yeah, so all I do is I uh, get these connectors here. The, the thing Isaac is doing, I need both hands here. Isaac is punching that hole right there like that. All I, all I do is I get the, uh, try to push you guys right here. There you go. I undo this right here, shove it in there, just like that. I went ahead and turned on the irrigation so we get some uh, lubricant there. Just shove it real hard. Make sure it's plugged in on both sides there. Tighten this right here real tight. Just threads up there. Pull your drip, measure the right size. My knife went in my pocket here. And just cut it. Oh, I gotta cut it straight. Oh no. If you don't cut it straight, there's a problem. You get the connector, shove it there as deep as you can, all the way to the max, tighten this, and you're good to go. On to the next. 30 more rows to go. Alrighty, y'all, so we're gonna let that irrigation run all night there, and hopefully by the morning, everything should be good to go. We're gonna try to wake up at sunrise tomorrow and plant all day, no breaks. We have no farm tours tomorrow. Like this morning, by the time we got started, it was already noon. We had a bottle of cider first thing in the morning. We had a farm tour at 10. Farm tours run about an hour. By the time we get the crew together, go out there, it's 11.30, and uh, yeah, we uh, it's kind of hard to manage everything, but tomorrow, that I know of, we don't have any farm tours and uh, we're just gonna go ham down we have nothing else planned tomorrow but plants so my goal is at least plant 10 to 15 thousand more of them get a majority knocked out and then friday morning we're probably gonna uh, uh do the rest and then we got a fall festival this weekend we got to go to uh some of my siblings are going to a wedding oh uh, we still got to go to farmers market so it's all it's all busy it's all hectic yeah but anyway this is gonna end off the video if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys know today's video don't forget Hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time.